Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. I'm sure that many of you in the XRP community who hang out on social media platform X, because let's be real, that's where the XRP community lives online. I'm sure many of you caught wind of uh, a bit of controversy surrounding pro XRP cryptocurrency exchange Uphold. Uh, this is an exchange who hung with the XRP community through thick and thin through the entire SEC v. Ripple lawsuit, which I, I know it's still ongoing, but uh, certainly throughout the point where XRP maintained legal clarity, refusing to delist XRP from the platform. Well, there's a lot of people not so happy uh, with this development. Here's the headline from the Crypto Basic. Lawyer reacts as co-founder of pro XRP exchange Uphold endorses Kamala Harris. So not surprisingly, that didn't go well. I'm going to share with you the specifics, but I also got to say at the outset of this video, because look, there are a lot of people that are closing their uphold accounts and, 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 and talking about doing that. And in some instances, even sharing screen grabs, showing that the account's been terminated, this and that. Um, I, I'm still a fan of Uphold. I'm just going to tell you this straight up right now, and they're not a sponsor. I've actually never had a sponsor on this channel by choice, and, and I may in the future. I reserve that right, but I haven't, so just to be clear, I'm not being paid to say anything. Uh, but uh, I've been a fan of Uphold since 2018. That's when I started using them. I, I believe it was June of 2018. I've always been happy with them personally. Uh, I've been happy with the customer service. And so the fact that um, a co-founder and former CEO, who, I mean, again, this guy's no longer even a CEO, the fact that he has a political opinion, uh, whether it, it it jives with mine or not, that's not going to dictate whether I am happy with the platform. Because I will tell you this, if I only engaged with businesses that aligned with me politically, I wouldn't have a very happy life. Like, I wouldn't even be able to watch movies, okay? <laughs> Just to be clear, so I'm not I'm not going to live life like that. I understand there can be instances where having boycotts, this or that, for various things, reasons, it can make sense, especially if it's coordinated. Uh, this doesn't seem like a reasonable place to have anything like that occur here. Um, so I'll tell you that at the outset, then we're going to get into the specifics. But before going further, I do want to be clear: I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. And so before I jump into the thread, and I'm going to share with you all of it and some commentary as we go through it. First, let me just highlight some perspectives. Like here is a, um, a, a, I guess you call it a blog from my uh, fellow XRP YouTuber, Jungle Inc. And he wrote this piece up yesterday and he titled it, Friends don't let friends keep their XRP on uphold. Um, and so I read this, and by the way, it's actually, it's not um, as aggressive as you might think based on the title. It seemed pretty even-keeled, in my opinion, frankly. Um, you know, and, and some, like, oh, frankly, actually, a lot of what he wrote, I kind of agree with. Like, I, I do want both major political parties in the United States to be pro-crypto. This should not be a partisan thing. And I do want to see if the, you know, if the Democrat Party is going to shift because they've been very anti-crypto, broadly speaking. Just look at the voting records from those in Congress. If they're going to start shifting, I just I need to see some damn evidence of that. Uh, here was a post from an XRP community member who wrote, um, I have closed my account with Uphold. We need to send them very clear message. And then he says, vote Trump. And here's a screen grab account closed. So everybody's entitled to do whatever it is that they want to do. I will not be closing my account because I'm not going to decide, generally speaking, uh, you know, where I do business based on, you know, an individual in a company sharing a political opinion. And just to be clear, this isn't the official position of Uphold. And they've cited this again and again. In fact, you can see they responded to this individual here. They wrote, Uphold is 100% politically neutral. We're pleased to see both parties seeking to build more constructive relationships with the crypto industry. So, fair response. And they're, that, that's true. The, the company itself, they are neutral. But other individuals, I, I mean, they're allowed to publicly say their opinions. Now, I will tell you this again, it didn't go over well, and that's not surprising to me. You know, I'm not agreeing uh, by and large with what was written here. So uh, here's the former CEO, JP Theriot. And, uh, and here's what he wrote. And, and actually, let me mention this too first, like to, to, to highlight the degree to which this isn't going well for him. This was viewed, uh, as you can see here, 148,600 times since it was posted the other day. And it got liked 394 times out of 148,000 views. 
Now, most people don't hit like, so the percentage is always going to be small compared to whatever the views are. That's notably small. Just to kind of paint a picture of the degree to which that's small, if you look at, uh, for instance, um, here, this guy that closed his uphold account, his was seen 72,000 times, 72,300 times. 1,000 people liked it. So half as many views, but more than twice as many likes. Uh, there is this post from um, Jungle Inc. where he, he was sharing his uh, his write-up. That was viewed just 30,000 times compared to JP Theory. It's 148,000 times. So, so Jungle's 30,000 views like 304 times. So almost the same number as li of, of likes as what JP got. But it was seen like... <laughs> A fifth, as, as it was seen like 20% as much. Like, it, I've got 20% the views of what this thread from JP got. So it's definitely the case that what JP wrote here, not popular in the world of crypto, but it shouldn't surprise you. It is indeed the case, and I don't like this, I, I and I do think it's going to change as time passes, whether this is the moment where it changes or not, we'll, we'll see. But broadly speaking, the Republican Party, you know, pick any political figure in Congress, almost 100% of them pro-crypto. The vast majority on the Democrat side, the vast majority anti-crypto. And we've been getting beaten down by the current administration for the last several years, just about, right? And I understand it wasn't as great, uh, it wasn't particularly great under Trump, but my God, there wasn't like this focused attack to destroy the entire asset class. It's like Biden got in charge, he's like, hold my beer. You know what I'm saying? Way worse. Way, way, way worse. I wasn't happy with the previous administration. This is way worse. It just is. And so here's what he wrote. First posting in two plus years. Biggest prior post. Uphold would be only U.S. trading venue, not dropping XRP in wake of SEC's lawsuit. That decision, board of conviction and trust in Paul Hastings, drove Uphold's growth and was subsequently proven to be the right decision by the courts. Folks, and that's true. Like, I, I am not going to throw throw uphold away uh, because of one individual's perspective. And and plus, I, I don't hate people that disagree with whatever my politics has to be. That's, that's not my baseline. That's just not how I operate in life. You have to be an actual jerk. Like if you're a jerk and a, kind of like a D-bag and, and it stems from a conversation that is political, okay, well then maybe I won't like it. But the fact that you believe different things than me, if you do, that doesn't change uh, my perspective on in that type of level. Like that, I just, I'm not like that. I think it's juvenile to approach the world like that, so I just don't do it. Um, and, and Uphold has been fantastic, and they still are um, a force for good within the XRP community. I, like, I still firmly believe that. So I'm not wavering on that support for Uphold, period, even though I don't agree with JP here. And so he says, Today I'm making a similarly contra-directional, but hopefully equally sound and inevitably correct announcement. I'd like to be the first crypto founder and former CEO that I'm aware of to endorse Kamala Harris for president. With the Harris campaign signaling a desire to reset relations with the crypto industry, it is a critical moment to demonstrate that the door is open and that support will follow if she simply adopts the common sense approach that we are all advocating. Okay, so I will say this, and he certainly, uh, actually, I'll give credit for doing something this bold, whether you agree or disagree with this, with what he's done here, uh, certainly bold there, because he had to have known that this wasn't going to go over particularly well with pretty much anyone in crypto, right? He had to have known that, and it hasn't. It clearly has not gone particularly well. Uh, so definitely points for the, the boldness and to say his actual opinion. I do respect that, that most certainly. Uh, now, as far as what he's saying about the desire to reset relations with the crypto industry, I'm sorry, where? <laughs> so there's been lip service paid from the Biden administration since May. That's very clear. Uh, is it a coincidence that's happening as we're in an election season? Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> um, I look at all the recent voting from the party and I look at uh, Kamala Harris's silence on this and the fact that she's been complicit for years within this administration. Uh, I, I so paying lip service. Oh, we want to think, rethink that crap down thing. Well, no, I need to see a damn action. Like I personally, I need to see an action. And I am particularly surprised that uh, he has the level of confidence he does that he's going to get it because there hasn't been any actual real world evidence to indicate that will happen. And it's very bad for crypto to this point. So I'm actually sitting here just speculating and 
I've been wondering since he posted this the other day, um, is it really more so that he's just pro that for other political reasons outside of crypto? And I don't know if that's the case because he does. He only talks about uh, endorsing Harris, uh, you know, as it pertains to the concept of crypto. Um, but I, I'm sitting here wondering, like, that's such a weak reason to believe that Harris is the one to move forward. That he's got to be on board with the rest of this. Isn't that what's driving it? I'm, I'm speculating here, but I'd be surprised if it's not a bunch of other stuff that's actually driving this for him. And then the crypto, because he's not, I'm, I'm, I'm making an assumption here, speculating. I'm assuming he's not a one issue voter, right? And so he's throwing this on top and kind of justifying it. That's what it looks like to me as an outside observer. That may not be what's in his heart and mind, but it's hard for me to look at this and come to a different conclusion. It just doesn't, it doesn't compute to me otherwise. Because there is no evidence whatsoever to think that this administration is going to go in a different direction. Uh, anyway, he continues, though. He says, in a 50-50 game, the only priority... Oh, wait, let me make sure I, I jump into the right spot, right? Uh, yeah, here we go. In a 50-50 game, the only priority is having a seat at the table when policies are being formulated by the next pres, regardless of who that is. We need to clear up misperceptions and reverse retrograde policies in order to unleash the power of digital asset innovation. Okay, and so that's a part of this thread that is innocuous, and so I think we could probably all get behind that particular portion of this thread, so I'll just move forward. That part sounds fine. And then he says, to reinforce a, na reinforce a narrative that crypto is hostile to a potential Harris administration is an irresponsible risk. Trump has already issued his platitudes and received his endorsements and contributions. No reason to believe he is any more crypto simpatico than Harris. Okay, so this is another reason that I'm saying there have to be a lot of other reasons that he's endorsing Harris, because if you cannot trust Trump or Harris because they're just saying things, then why'd you pick Harris? So clearly, I mean, it seems very clear to me that what's most probable here is he's just somebody that votes that way, in which case, fine. I, I, I don't care. I'm not here to add commentary on the stuff outside of crypto. That's not what this channel is about. I only delve into anything political insofar as it has to do with uh, crypto, finance, broadly speaking, or perhaps the economy. That's it. I'm not going to be preaching to you. That's not what this channel is for. I mean, and I hate I, I hate it when I go to a source, uh, you know, whether it's a podcast or whatever it may be, and it's it's nothing political. And then I, I just get a lecture on something. I hate that. I hate that. It's like. Have you ever had the misfortune of trying to enjoy a cinematic adventure? You're just trying to watch a goddamn movie, and then they have to pepper it with a bunch of political BS that you don't want to hear. I hate it. I hate it so much. So anyway, I'm not going to do that here. You don't have to worry about that on the Moon Lambo channel. The Moon Lambo channel is too awesome to do something like that. So, but here's the thing. So, if as far as the idea that, uh, you know, flip a coin here. I mean, they're both saying the pro-crypto stuff now. I mean, you know, just... How do you know that one's more truthful than the other? Well, here's the deal. The Republican Party at this point, it's effectively a Republican Party platform to be pro-crypto at this point. And if you look at the voting record, it's not like it's the proof is in the pudding right there. That's what the party is. The party is pro-crypto, period. There are so few examples to the contrary and they're on the Republican side. And so to think that Trump and, and admittedly, he has done a 180, certainly. But to go this whole hog, I mean, I mean, look at this. He, he was speaking at uh, the Bitcoin conference. Harris, Harris backed out of that. Why would you think that she's more like, like she's bowing out. That would have been a great time to come in and reset things. She's choosing to not reset things. It's going against what JP is saying here, frankly, her recent behavior after she started running for president. Uh, you know, so I, I just, I don't see it. So then there's Trump. Okay. Well, sure, you, you can argue, and some people do, that he's just paying lip service, but given that this is, at this point, a Republican Party platform, I'd, I'd be shocked if he's to this degree, because he's whole hog on crypto, like he's all on board, the way he's articulating. I mean, he's going way further than, further than he has to and a number of the things he says. If he's lying about this, and he's going to go against the party if elected, uh, that would be surprising to me. That actually would be. Some people disagree. That's my opinion on this. Now, as far as Harris, I don't think she knows a damn thing about crypto, to be honest with you. I really don't. Because there's no evidence that she does. And she's complicit in all this nonsense the last few years, attacking our financial well-being. That's Because that's what the current administration has been doing. That's certainly the case. 
Anyway, then he continues, to the contrary, there is good reason to believe that Kamala is at least as well equipped to write the ship. She's two decades younger than both presidents who have presided over the main of Bitcoin and crypto's evolution. Okay, so like I just said, I don't find that compelling. I don't find that remotely compelling. Uh, Kamala has been, like I said, I'll say it again, she's been complicit in what's happened with this administration. She said nothing. Uh, she, Her most recent action in choosing to not engage at the Bitcoin conference after she was in talks to potentially do so, as I reported on the channel, uh, and then she decided not to, but then Trump did it. Like, not a good sign. It's really not a good sign. I don't, like, where are you getting the confidence to think that it's nothing, uh, like, it's more than just lip service? Because I can make an argument as to why it's more than just lip service as it pertains to Trump, because look at what the Republican Party is doing, and he's going whole hog. How can you make an equivalent argument for Harris? I don't think you really can. I just, I don't find this compelling. So I respectfully disagree with him. And then he says, Kamala is a modern candidate able to understand that technology genies are never put back in bottles and able to respect that the U.S. has always led in financial innovation and has the deepest capital markets in the world as a result. There is a real opportunity to help shape the Harris campaign's position on crypto. We do ourselves a major disservice by not engaging. I speak for myself only. Uphold is a politically neutral company, and I resigned as CEO in early 2022 I remain a director. Yeah. And so look, he has every right to come out and share his perspective. It's a minority position in the world of crypto very clearly, but that's fine. He is he, he does not become my enemy because I feel differently than him. Uphold does not become my enemy because he is a co-founder and former CEO of the company and he has this opinion, which he said publicly. That's not how this works for me. Some people feel differently and they're entitled to do whatever they want to do. Uh, I'm still pro-Uphold. I will continue to use them. I'm going to keep my accounts. I think Uphold is absolutely fantastic, and I appreciate the support. And I wouldn't expect every single human that works at the company to agree with my politics, nor should that matter. So that's what I have to say about that. Attorney Fred Rispoli responded to JP, and he said, I get where you are coming from, but Kamala has to do something now that is pro-crypto to make your beliefs more credible. Trump is on the outside looking in for the moment. Kamala is in power and could take immediate steps to justify what you just posted if she wants to. Yeah, and so she's part of the administration that's in power, and that's kind of my point. She's been complicit. Not, not that the vice president has gets to you know steer the ship to any sort of particularly notable degree, but she's in the damn thing. She can, and now she's running for president. She could do more than just say a couple of things. Yeah, it's it is what it is here. Here's what attorney Bill Morgan had to say. Many people will simply turn on Uphold for this decision. The decision to keep XRP listed was a great decision, but it was never an either-or choice between XRP and any other token. The choice between Trump and Harris is either-or, and you choose to endorse the candidate who, at this point, is part of a deeply anti-crypto administration. At the least, you should have deferred the choice until you hear what are her policies on crypto. So I'll pause to say, ding, 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 yes. And so that's why I'm saying I don't think it's as much about the crypto. The whole thread, yes, he's talking about crypto. I think he wanted to announce it for different reasons. I'm speculating, but how can I come to a different conclusion? There's no good reason to think that she, not, there just isn't. There's no good reason to think that Harris would be pro-crypto and actually change. There's no evidence of that. And if she's elected, and if she is, then I will applaud that, if it happens. But there's no good reason right now to think that is indeed the case. And why wouldn't you wait? Why wouldn't you just defer that public comment, which you know is going to be unpopular, until there is some evidence? And that's why I keep speculating that it's not about crypto for him. He just wants to vote that way. And if he does, that's fine. I don't care if people want to vote left or right. I don't care. Do whatever you want to do. I'm not going to tell you how to vote. And then he says, questionable choice at this moment. And I think that's a fair critique that Bill Morgan has. You are rewarding Harris without her committing anything in, in return on crypto. Something for nothing. I, it's just, how could I not agree with that? I do believe that's the case. And he says, I applaud you, though, for not being afraid to freely express what you know will be a viewpoint not well received in the crypto community. Yeah, spot on. Absolutely spot on. So you guys can let me know what you think here, but um, that's those are my thoughts. I just thought I'd spill it out there. Um, you all entitled to your opinion, whatever you want. I'm not saying you're right or wrong, but now you know what I think.
I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.